I just found an amazing open source browser and local data analytical tool that will help you for better intuitive data exploration and visualization. Introducing Pretzel. It can handle large data files, run locally in your browser, and requires no backend setup. Pretzel AI is an application that will make it easy for you to manipulate data through visual chain data transform blocks. It's also reactive, which basically means that it will allow you to change and transform data blocks in the chain automatically, and it will update all your data as well as your visualization. Now, in simple terms, this is a great tool that will help you process large amounts of data using AI completely for free as this is open source, which also means that you can build on top of this. Now, this is something that will help you categorize and visualize your data with the help of AI. Just take a look at this demo video, which will give you a better idea as to what you can do with Pretzel AI. Hi, here's a demo of our open source in-browser tool. You can upload your CSV, but for now, let's load our demo CSV about seed stage investments in the Bay Area. This is way too much data to analyze, so let's remove all the columns, and I want to see the org name and the description. Cool. I want to see which investors I should talk to, so let me try to... Great. Let me see the lead investors and money raised. Okay, lots of nulls here. Let me filter that out real quick. I can see the lead investors sometimes. It's many of them. And I want only one lead investor. Let me maybe try doesn't contain a comma. Okay, cool. And this money raised, I probably want it in millions. Okay, here it is. Great. So now I have enough data for a pivot table. Let's do lead investors, money in millions. Great. I only want to talk to the investors who maybe invested more than 10 million. Great, let me make a quick chart to show to my co-founder. Okay, actually I have, I should probably talk to more investors on this. So let me do maybe more than five. No, the investor more than 3 million. Okay, I have enough time to talk to these investors. Let me download the CSP and schedule all the meetings. If you watch until here, quick reminder, we are completely open source. We run in the browser with no backend. We only connect to the internet for the AI stuff. And even that is coming locally very soon. Please give us your feedback, submit a bug report here. It's really easy. Just hit send. And then thank you for watching. Sorry for being repetitive, but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a patron this past month, you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. You get access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Now, wasn't that amazing? This is something that offers as an AI powered assistant tool and it helps you in categorizing and visualizing data, which is making it easier for you to derive different insights from your data sets. And the best part is, is that it's completely free to use and it's gonna make it a little bit more appealing for individuals as well as organizations looking for efficient data processing tools. Now, this is something that we're gonna take a look at throughout today's video. This is something that you can set up without no backend setup needed, which I'll 
like which basically means that it won't require you to code the backend or set up the backend in that case it's something that you can deploy as an application quite easily and it's something that we're going to do throughout today's video so with that thought guys stay tuned and let's get straight into it hey what is up guys welcome back to another youtube video at the world of ai in today's video i'm going to quickly take a look at Presto ai which is a powerful open source tool that's designed for seamless data exploration and visualization we saw at the start of the video that it operates offline within your browser which eliminates the need for complex backend setup it has the ability to process large amounts of data visualize it and allows you to break it up now some Amazing features that are associated with Pretzel AI is that it's blazing fast performance with WebAssembly based DuckDB, which is the Duck database. You also have PRQL. It's intuitive data exploration with a visual top-down pipeline of data transformations as well as visualizations. It has an AI power transformation block to help with fast data manipulation. And a cool thing is that it automatically transforms different blocks as it works alongside with you it does it automatically and autonomously which is really really cool you also have the ability for privacy which is something that lets you run pretzel ai locally or host it yourself for full control over your data some cool features that are going to be coming is that they're going to support local llm support api calls in browser python support and this is something that will be included sooner or later now let's get straight into it and showcase how you can get started so the cool thing is that they have a live deploy built. So if you are to click on it, it will take you to this page over here where you can load up a demo CSV, which is the one that we're going to take a look at. But in this case, you can upload your own files by simply clicking on this and uploading your large data set, or you can upload a CSV file from a URL. So in this case, we're just going to load the CSV file. But before we even get to that, another way to access this amazing tool is if we scroll down all the way, you can see that there is an offload offline standalone app where you're able to add it and install using your in, uh, chrome extension you can also run it locally by cloning the repository installing the dependencies and running the deployment server it's super easy it takes around a couple of minutes to set this up you just need to have npm installed and git and once you have those two applications installed you're going to be able to easily clone this and build it you're also able to host pretzel on a different cloud service which is an easy way to run through render and the developers behind this project have been able to set this whole process up quite easy so huge respects to the people developing pretzel ai this is a great tool that will definitely help a lot of people out but in this case we can see that we're using this large data set it's a csv file with which is characterizing the name full name description url stars as well as forks so it basically is showcasing how many people have basically contributed to the pretzel ai github and it gives you the name full name description etc so what we can do is that we can filter through different sections you can add a filter so that it will only showcase the full name or it will only show like you can add a filter so that it contains only a certain amount so uh you can have it so that the full name it only showcases the full name in this case i'm doing it wrong but let me show you another example which is a little bit more applicable Okay, there we go. We set up a filter for GitHub. These are the contributors through GitHub. You can also ask AI to contribute to your data set. It can help you use, you can use their server. You can also use their API. But in this case, once you have selected this, you can chat alongside with the AI to basically summarize as well as define certain data sets within the data that you provided. You can create a pivot tail table. So let me just delete these previous blocks but you can create a pivot table in this case this will allow you to have and export that pivot table somewhere else you can chart it you can even have it so that you can create columns remove columns sort it and even visualize through tables this is giving you a lot of flexibility to process your data with the help of AI. And I truly love this application and I see a lot of use cases coming out of it. So I'll leave all these links in the description below. This is just a small little short video showcasing a powerful AI data visualization app, which will help you categorize and process different amounts of data. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you got some sort of value out of it. This is something that's completely free. So I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you follow the Patreon page if you haven't already. This is a great way for you to access 
subscription is completely for free. Make sure you follow us on Twitter if you haven't already. This is a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, just today, sorry about that. Make sure you subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.